multiple offers, I want to buy the house, I should use a price escalation clause. That's correct, right? Not in my book, I don't think so, no. So how would you handle it? There's multiple offers, I said. I have a high price I'm willing to pay, but I don't want to jump right to that price. Well, what, what, why do you want to use the escalation clause? What's it doing for you? It's, 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 doing, it's doing price steps, right? So I'm going, I got my high number, but it's only taking me up steps because I don't know if that other offer, as the, the addendum states, is a bona fide offer or a real offer, right? So it's giving me steps to move in the process, willing to go to my high number. Yeah, but to me, if you put the pressure on the seller, let them come back to you. Uh, you know, I'm just a man that says, look, I like things simple. And when you got an escalation clause, you're adding a couple layers. You're adding interpretation of, of situations and you're putting a, it's a weird twist on the psychology of the seller. It's like, hey, I think your home's worth 300000 but if nobody else is around, I'm only going to give you two seventy five. You know what I mean? It's like if a tree in the woods falls, does anybody hear it or whatever the heck that analogy? I mean, it just, to me... But my point is, though, you could go right to your high number, and then in reality, after you'll, you'll probably never know, but maybe that house, you could have gone to, th it was at 300, and you could have done 285. Well, then you should go, to me, it's, as a consumer, it's how bad do you want it? You know, it's not, you know, you're never forced to give a price that you're not comfortable with. If you think that you can sleep at night offering the seller $300,000 and you know it's the spring market, you know rates are low and you say, you know what, I want to give it a shot, then do it. If you don't feel that it's worth $300,000 or you feel that you'd be kicking yourself in the tail if you paid $300,000, then offer two eighty five dollars and cross your fingers. I mean, there are gamblers out there. Some, some take bigger risks than others. But to just give an escalation clause to me actually boxes you in. There's so many other things on an agreement of sale besides price. And what you're doing is you're turning that property into a commodity by only looking at it from a price perspective. So I guess there's a couple different ways to handle it. I think the most important thing is that your Don't agent... Don't use the escalation clause. <laughs> I think the most important thing is that your agent explains your options and that helps you out as the buyer and then you can make the decision instead of listening to him. Well said.